Like a nice spot, my little seaweed bloom. Huh, the sand here is too sandy. Over there, Ratty. No, wait. The angle of the sun is all wrong. Try over there. No thanks to you yanking on me like that. Rudy, can't you go for one day without getting into trouble? Huh? <coughs> <sighs> getting into trouble is Rudy's superpower. You leave my little Rudy Woody alone. I'm sure he was pressured into that stunt. <gasps> Come on, Monroe. We should pick this stuff up before someone trips and gets hurt. <laughs> I try to stay out of trouble, Grammy, but I just don't know how. Ah! Don't just lay there, Ratty. Oh, oh. Your grandson needs some advice. Ooh, chocolate dipped icicles. Mm. An advice? He should be more like Prince Badu. That goody two tusks never gets into any trouble. Grammy, did you hear what he said? Yes, dear. Uh, listen to your grandfather. Ratty, Woo! I want a chocolate-dipped icicle now! Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Grammy and Grampy won't want me to be like Badu after he gets in trouble for this. <laughs> Perfect! Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <gasps> oh. Huh? What are my wheelie sneaks doing there? There's a string tied to them. <gasps> Cornelius! Uh -huh. oh. I'm fine, young Master Prince. Someone set a trap for you using my wheelie sneaks as bait. And I know who. I don't get it, Boo. Why would Rudy go after Cornelius? I don't know. But Monroe, look! <laughs> hey, Boo, isn't that your fishing rod? Pomegranates. Miss Stretch, look out! <laughs> oh no! Oh bonjour! Have a pomegranate. No thanks, Miss Stretch. First, 
Rudy booby traps your wheelie sneaks. Now he uses your fishing rod for this dumb prank. Nits and nets! Rudy's trying to get me in trouble. We've got to stop him. <gasps> Incoming! <laughs> Sorry, Boo. Waiting for Rudy's next prank is making me jumpy. The worst part is, none of our friends are safe until we find him and make him stop. Why don't you pull a prank on Rudy? Give him a taste of his own medicine. That would be thumping. But the last thing we need are more pranks. Thank you, Prince Badu. Thank you? For what? For giving away free ice cream. Free ice cream? Oh, no. I thank the prince, Mommy. Can I eat the ice cream now? No, wait! <gasps> Prince Badu. Ew! Stinker berries. He put stinker berries in the ice cream. Stinker berry ice cream. Well, who would do something that mean? Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> no, kids, stop! Whoa! Huh? <laughs> oh, yuck! It's okay. Someone was trying to play a joke on you. The ice cream had stinker berries in it. Aww. <laughs> uh, you win this round, Badu, but I have not yet begun to prank. Why are you doing this, Rudy? Knock it off! Never! Before this day is over, you're gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> you were right, Monroe. The only way we're going to get Rudy to stop is by giving him a taste of his own medicine. Come on. Frank City Central. Rudy's got stinkerberry, spinkweed, slippery sap, and more paint balloons. And we're gonna use it all to play the world's greatest prank on him. Mm. When Rudy comes back, he'll slip on the sap and slide right into our trap. Hey, Boo, does this look like your surf kite? Rudy! That's one of the tents where swimmers change into their bathing suits. Look, Rudy's using my surf kite. I'm gonna get blamed for embarrassing Lady Vitaxis. <laughs> 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 no peeking, Ratty. <laughs> Can't hold it. <laughs> when the kite pulls the tent away, you'll be right there. Caught red hand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on! Whoa. What do I have to do to... Oh, oh no! no. Help. I've got you! Nice move, Badu! <gasps> what do you think, Ratty? Boo. <laughs> wow. 
What was the meaning of jumping on my belly? King Babar will hear about this. It was my fault, Grampy. Badu really saved my horn. Thanks. And sorry about trying to get you into trouble. Well, it wasn't the nicest idea you ever had, Rudy. For some reason, trying to get someone else in trouble always backfires. <gasps> oh, no. I am so grounded. <sighs> Who's blocking my <laughs> My little mud lily! <laughs> nice one, Badu. You don't need my help getting into trouble after all. Uh, time to go face the music. Wait up! You don't think I'm gonna let you hog all the credit for the biggest prank of all time, do you? Outrageous! I've never been so insulted in all my days! Another. Cool! That's so cool! Looks like a fine night for wishing on a star. Wouldn't you agree, Delash? Huh? What do you mean, wishing on a star, Your Majestiness? Aw, uh, that's just baby stuff. Seeing a shooting star is very lucky, Jake. And it never hurts to make a wish when you're at your luckiest. I wish I could go on an adventure with Heropotamus. I wish my monkey mobile moving machine wins first place at the science fair. I wish I had a whole bucket of spinkweed. I thought you said wishing on a star was baby stuff. Never hurts to try. What about you, Jake? Better hurry. Um, I wish for... I know. I wish for a thousand more wishes. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awfully big wish for one little star. What's your wish, Pappy? Did I do that? Did I wish too big? Thumping. Thumping indeed, Madhu. We'd better go have a look. What are we looking for, Pappy? I believe Delash just found it. Who put this hole here? Not who, what? <laughs> is that the star? The star is really a space rock, Jake. When they fall down from the sky, we call them meteorites. You should ask Professor Wozikiwak about them. Can we dig it out? Yeah, we can use my monkey mobile moving machine. You can try in the morning, because right now, it's past everyone's... Bed bedtime. Sure, it's not my fault the star crashed. You said my wish was awfully big. It's not a star, Jake. It's a space rock. <laughs> my monkey mobile moving machine should pull that old rock right out of there. Right on out. Thanks, Chiku. Huh? Ah! Chiku! I'm okay, Bill. This space rock is a big magnet. See how it sticks to the metal hook? Uh, sorry about your moving machine. Guess I'm not gonna win the science fair now. Stinkies! It's all my fault. Huh? I broke the wishing star, and I broke your wish. It was just an accident, Jake. That's okay. Maybe I can rebuild in time for the science fair. Careful, Boo. You don't know what a broken wishing star might do. Even if it was a real wishing star? Ugh. Now that it's on the ground, I don't think it has any wishing powers anymore. Are you sure? Professor Wazikiwak could tell us. Come on, let's show this to her. Phew, 
I don't know about you, Jake, but I could use something cold. One, please. And the space rock came down with a boom. All the other babies were really scared, so I had to go out and find it way over there. <laughs> Galash, you can't do that. It's just my wish coming true, remember? A whole bucket of spinkweed just for me. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Broken wishing star. Hey, you! Huh? Bring back my spinkweed! It's no use, Delash. Your wish is busted. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find this? <laughs> Grab you! <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Stinkies. This sure looks like a broken wish to me, Boo. You might be right, Jake. Let's get the space rock to the professor's blimp lab, okay? Ah! Be careful, Boo. Your wish will be next. Good thing I wish to go on an adventure with Hieropotamus. He's at the Mooncastle Mountains. Hiya, pups! Hieropotamus! <laughs> what are you doing here? I finished my expedition early. Now I'm flying to Windsong Canyon with supplies for Professor Wazikiwak. She's there studying rocks. Wow. We've got a rock right here that needs to be studied. A space rock. That Rex wishes. Hmm, a space rock, huh? Well, put it aboard. We'll fly it out for her to give it a good look over. Ah! Oh, like a big magnet, is it? Might be better if we park it over there in my tent. We'll bring the professor back for a look-see. You boys are welcome to come along if you'd like. Badoo, we can't go. Look what happened to the other wishes. What if your wish gets broken while we're way up in the air? You don't have to come, Jake. You could stay here and guard the rock while we go get the professor. But, Boo... The space rock won't make us crash. We'll be okay, Jake. Really. The wishing star came from the sky. Maybe you would like to go back. Windsong Canyon, here we come! We'll be back soon, Jake. Jake? He's probably in the tent, guarding the space rock. Okay, Wishing Star. When we get high enough, I'm putting you back in the sky. <gasps> Kinda bumpy out. Only there's not much wind. Probably just a little downdraft. Nothing to worry about, Pop. There's the professor's blimp lab. Good eye, Pop. She's probably camped in the canyon. Heroes, ho! You're still not high enough, Wishing Star. Heropotamus, there's the professor's camp. We'll land over on the far side. Hello? Hello? Up here! We brought your supplies! What wonderful Philly news! I'm starting to run out of hope! Uh-oh! What was that? <gasps> it's Jake! Too heavy. Quick, pop! Lighten the load! Jake, what are you doing? I wanted to put the wishing star back in the sky. <gasps> <gasps> Professor! Stop the rock car! We gotta get rid of that magnet! I'll keep us away from those rocks as long as I can! Jake, toss the space rock overboard! I can't! It's stuck! Thanks, Jake. 
an amazing. Who knows how far this little meteorite has come from beyond the moon, beyond the sun, before landing here with us. So Jake's big wish didn't make it fall out of the sky? Oh, I know. Every once in a while, a space rock manages to make it all the way to the ground. But if the broken star didn't break the wishes, what did? Are you sure about that, Jake? Yeah, look at Chiku. The space rock gave her the idea to make a magnetic monkey mobile moving machine, and she won the science fair. Wow! And Delash. The shopkeepers told Pappy that Delash did such a good job cleaning up the bazaar, he was rewarded with his own bucket of spinkweed. And you sure got your adventure with your eponymous. It's important to keep wishing on shooting stars, Jake. If we believe strongly enough and work hard, wishes can come true. Go ahead, Jake. I think you've got a thousand wishes coming. I only need one. I wish that me and Badoo will be buddies forever. Jake, that's a wish I know will come true.